Hi, people. More favorite missions for you today. Thanks for the views last night. We had such good sports about everything the night before. So I was an idiot and did not put my my mic on for whatever whatever fucking reason. I don't know why. Trust me, I was pissed off when I figured it out my mic was if not I on. Film producer's wife, I gotta look the part. I guess you do. Oh, what's going on? Oh, hello, Amanda. Hello. Nice to see you. Um, I didn't even notice her walking in until just now. Because <laughs> Michael went into first person for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing... Knowing you married a stripper. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? They're all married to strippers. <laughs> That's a cute interaction. <laughs> He's like, oh, you don't have to worry about it. They're all, they're probably all married to them anyway. So don't worry about it, babe. Don't worry about it, my babe. Hi, Walker. How you doing? Hello, my darling wife. Oh, hello, Michael. Ooh. Hey, man. What's up? All good? Not perfect, but we're trying. All good with you? I think so. I feel we're making progress. What does that mean? Wretch people? Wrench people? Is that what you're saying? What the heck does that mean? But anyway. We're probably doing my all-time favorite ones today. Do 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 Wretch like mod. Wrench like mod. See you next to my... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you can't figure that out still. Bury the hatchet. Let's do this. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's a lot of people's all-time favorite missions, too. Because it's where things finally come to a head between the two of them. And it's brilliant. And I accidentally put... Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. I'll get it. Put it in self promo. I'm man. sorry. Huh? Nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks. This isn't my favorite mission. You'll find out what it is pretty soon, though. But it's definitely my second favorite. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you. You're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Frank yeah, about makes that. Us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Damn. Oh, just gonna get ourselves a gay I friend. It just makes you I love that. I want to make movies. Oh. Right? Uh. Great. And, uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me! Alright, this is a fucking way of life! I got a fucking family! Yeah, well, I got nothing! No one gives a fuck about me! Oh. I do. Oh. Fuck you! I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. This whole everything. mission is one of the best active missions I have ever seen in GTA. I'm your fucking nightmare. Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats. Ned Luke and Stephen Ogg are just phenomenal actors. 
And if I get a chance to interview Ned Luke one day, let me let me just ask you something. I am Aren't definitely gonna compliment him on this one. Up in North Angle, he deserves to be complimented. Exactly, who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Yeah, he's still trying to lie about it. Trevor! Hey! Chief! My first thought mission? Yeah, I thought that was uncool too. It's like, dude, That's just admit car, it. You prick. Just admit it. He knows now. You might as well just tell him. But no, you keep trying to lie. Why do you keep trying to lie? Fuck you! you. Hey, it's still come on. Where are you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we we'll order pizza. Oh fuck damn it! You, you left. Fuck your pizza. <laughs> fuck everything it stands for. This is insanity. Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought. Finally, stop your car. Come on, come back. We'll talk. <sighs> I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Just stop the car. Turn around. I'm sure you will, Michael. I still believe you. Not. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. Got It'll the be car. An I want Perhaps it. Imp. Give me. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke, what? mirrors. Oh, hi, Steve from Blue's Clues. Give me your car. How are you doing, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy. All right, save your fucking breath. Then you look like Steve from Blue's Clues, though. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. Oh, Jesus! Shit! See, Michael, this is why you don't tell lies, because eventually they catch the fuck up to you. Special Agent Dumb Norton. Fuckers. Shit! Davey! Shit, he knows! Oh, I had a person in the car with me and... Shit! Shit! How? I don't know Yeah, how. I know, but he I like doing it Michael more. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. I hate driving Shit. planes in this game, so anytime I can get I to know. avoid it, I'm gonna, go I'm gonna do it. See if I can reason with it. But I come, but I, 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 I. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Yeah, he'd fucking pick. He'd fucking like rip Dave's head off if he could. Trust me. But yeah. Except I feel more bad for Trevor in this mission, definitely. There is no doubt about that, who you should feel more bad for. But I do feel bad for Michael, too, because it's like, what the hell else was he supposed to do? Like, maybe he could have done it differently than what he did do, but he needed to protect his family. And that's the main thing he's always said, and I believe him on that. Like I said, that lifestyle of his would probably catch up to his family sometime. Someone's gonna get real pissed at him someday. And they might go after them, too, so... Case in point, so there's a mission like that I will be playing that showcases that perfectly. Which is why he got out in the first place. Or why you tried to get out in the first place. But we'll come we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Think of crossing bridge, isn't it? That's what we're doing right now. Oh, found a missed, missed it. Never mind. I'm going right away. My sense of direction in this game has been horrible the last few days and I have no clue why. I don't know if it's because I've been not been sleeping very well or or what, but That's true, too. Yeah, Dave wasn't exactly the best person either in this situation, because he was an asshole, but let's be real, Dave was just a greedy asshole that wanted that wanted to further his career. Let's be real here. 
So yeah, Dave's at fault just as much as Michael is, cause... His agency didn't know he did that shit. I have a feeling. So... That's on Dave, too. So Michael and Dave are kind of birds of a feather, in a way. Cause Dave is kind of manipulative, too. I knew the guy who played Dave, but like, who voiced Dave, he was in Law and Order, like, the original Law and Order. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, in this case, this mission is telling you exactly who to feel bad for, and it's Trevor. And I do feel bad for Trevor. I said, I will never not feel bad for Trevor during this mission. It's kind of not, it's kind of impossible to not feel bad for him. Because Michael is a douchebag who doesn't tell the truth in this mission. And yeah, it's the only time I get really pissed off at Michael in the whole game. I don't know, that conversation between them later on, though, just makes me happy, because I'm just glad they sort of worked out their differences, I guess. At least they tried, I suppose. And that's good enough for me, I guess. I know. It's like, it makes me feel that, like, Trevor is just really suicidal at that moment and just, like, wants to die. And it's like, that is so fucking upsetting. Hi, police officers with guns. Please don't kill me. Uh, where am I even going? Uh, yeah, down here, I forgot. Or no, wait, I'm going away from it, aren't I? I did this once before. When I first did this mission, I was, like, going around and around in circles. Don't ask me why. When I had to just go this way. And go upstairs. <laughs> yep, I remember. I'm a dum-dum. Come on. This time, I'm gonna complete this mission, because I had to skip the part in the, uh... Cemetery, because they were killing me, like, crazy every single time, and, like... It was getting really annoying, but that's before I knew I could have assisted aim fully on, and I only had it on partial or not at all. Yeah, it's funny that they think that they're boyfriends, because it's like, um... They're watching them, and they never did anything coupley at all during that whole thing. It's like, um... How? <laughs> How do you think that they're, um, lovers when they're not even really doing anything that lovers do, but whatever. Yeah, it is. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me. Amanda... It was the only thing I could do. I agree. Everyone died, it's an old man from a different country, so... Especially China, who is very homophobic. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy. Realist. He gets the glory. I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? Alright, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. I don't care if anyone knows, I'm asexual, so I don't really care if I end up with anybody. <laughs> I'm just one of those people that just does their own thing, and honestly, I don't really want to get anyone Some in my life that's romantically involved. Nothing I mean. Go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby. We get out. Exactly. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. 
I like these flashbacks because it kind of gives you a moment of clarity with Michael and try to, you try to find out like what the hell why'd he do all this for we did it maybe we are home free it's over this is fucked man the day is blown just this one job and everything is done everything is done But you get the sense that Amanda was talking to Michael about it, and then she's like, why are you going to do this? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you get the kind of, you get the kind of notion that Amanda was protesting the deal the whole time. Just in the way Michael talks. And it's like, hmm, that's interesting. Because it's like, I think even Amanda was like, that's really cold, even for you kind of thing like even if she doesn't like Trevor it's like um wait you're gonna like, get him killed but I thought he was your best friend and shit you know I love the fact that they both like after a while they're like both admit that Brad was a piece of shit <laughs> and realistically them fighting over him was kind of been kind of useless. Oh, there's Trevor. Sorry, I didn't drink of my coffee. But yeah, it's like the fact that they were fighting over him was kind of dumb. Because it's like, uh, why fight over a guy you didn't even like? But okay, whatever. I guess it's not the, it's the principle of the thing. It's what Trevor says. <laughs> Hey, it's not who it was, it's time. what happened you know what to huh? make it come about. Time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give, give a, a shit. shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you going to keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it going to stop? It happens in the dark. It comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. I said, if I get a chance to do an Instagram live interview with Ned Luke someday, I am definitely complimenting him on the scene because he was, they were both phenomenal during the scene. Holy shit. If I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin. Brad got shot, you saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did, that, that's it. No, it's not. I think the only thing... Trevor had the right idea. Was me showing up on your doorstep. He just pretty much said what was supposed to happen. I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you! Never a truer word has been spoken, brother! Now pull the fucking trigger! You certainly fight late, brothers. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck you! Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Joe Phillips! Mr. Joe has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho, I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how did you mean? How did you mean? Get the boyfriend! <laughs> boyfriend? <laughs> Motherfucker. Where are you? Come here. I want to kill you. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Oh, just the Chinese triad. Nothing special. Stop the man! Oh, 
Good, they gave me a good better gun. Why would that make it better, but okay. You'd still get shot at, Michael, but okay, whatever. Leave me with these pieces of shit. You Just think we're boyfriends for no fucking time. reason. <laughs> I am doing much better during this than I did last time. Mostly because I've learned how to shoot better. As well. So that that helps. Woo! Oh, your ass is grass, you mofos. <laughs> you stupid motherfuckers. Die, asshole. See, that's why I wish I had a better gun. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more. You're making a mistake! Boyfriend Ron, he don't care about you! Crap, there we go. Hey, go fuck yourself! <laughs> Come on. You're out of your element! Agreed. There you are. one that way. I know there is. It's showing it. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! Oh, there he is. He will pop his head out. There we go. Hey, you got the wrong guy! I just killed that fucking man. There we go. He's getting away. How many guys you send up here? That's a good question. Shot in the arm. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more. We could have teamed up. I am not his boyfriend. You're making a mistake. 
I need to come out and get something. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got rounds after this. Well, of course he doesn't care. Hey. Someone in front of me? Hey. Someone in front of me? He won't hurt you. He won't hurt you. Okay, show yourself. You're way off, assholes! Where the hell are they shooting from? Okay, I need to go hey, forward. Can't we do this where the weather's better? Oh, there he is. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! How did I not I get where my weapon? What the fuck did I just get? Oh, come on. You started this. Hide, 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 hide. Take cover. Find a sign. There you go. You should have gone after the other guy. I agree. You don't mess with Michael. His shooting skills are fucking insane. Okay, any more? Alright. Run towards the car! Yeah, I did it! <sighs> Trevor. Fuck! Damn it, Trevor! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend! Alright. Alright. Get out of the fucking car. Uh oh. There, I got it. Oh. Trevor, you piece of shit. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ah, <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. <laughs> your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. Oh my God, Trevor, you're so fucking racist. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? My lover? <laughs> Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> Nothing. My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Trevor! Seriously? This one made me angry at him, but in a way, it's like, yeah, I can understand why, but at the same time, what the fuck, dude? Seriously? He sold you a million times since he's had a family. Uh -huh. I hate driving planes. 
I have to drive a fucking plane? Apparently I do. Let's start to get closer to the ground though. Yeah. Let's slow down a bit. Mm -hmm. I just went past health hat. Ooh, go up. Turn back around. Turn around. <laughs> I don't know why, it, out of all songs, they haven't put Total Eclipse in the heart of the heart in um, a GTA game yet. Sleep. Oh my god, that would have been perfect for Vice City. Oh no. Uh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. Ugh. I hate planes so much. They suck ass. Oh god. Turn around. Turn around. Cargo plane. Every now and then I throw a tail. Yeah. Okay, we can sit down here. Ow. Well, at least we landed. I don't give two shits. I don't care. I'm not getting back to the plane. You can't make me. Okay. Ugh. We got close enough. I think that's stuck, but... Ugh. Fuck you. Exit. Uh, no. Should we try it, I guess? I hate driving planes! Can you just warp me to the helipad? That'd be great. I know. If my tank phones us again, we could just skip him. <sighs> Go away! I don't want to talk to you. I'm too pissed off to talk to you right now. Go away. <laughs> I'm going to keep it straight the whole way. At least try to. Try to keep it in line with the yellow dot. That'll help. I will. That's what I was trying to do before. Didn't help. Yeah, I need one more thing to be able to record for GTA 4. Probably be after Christmas. Because I need to get money to do it. But you will do GTA 4 at some point, I swear. Oh, does anyone truly like, uh, I'm recording it through my Elgato capture card, H60S. I got a really nice capture card. That's why my Pokemon Stadium and Super Smash's videos look so good. Because it's a really, really, uh, high-end, really good capture card that I got for 80 bucks at Best Buy. It was a brilliant purchase. It's really been helping. Me to diversify my channel. I just need a better computer. One that can actually handle, um, handle it. Woo, okay. Ah, I broke the plane's wing. Ah, fuck it. Yes, I don't care. As long as I get to do the mission in general, I don't give two shits. <laughs> but anyway, I gotta get go get a bathroom break. I'll be back.
<sighs> Stupid paddle. It died on me. <sighs> so I gotta use my shitty one. So if I fuck up at any point, it cuts my paddle. For real. I'm not even ma making excuses for skills. Because I was using my good paddle just two seconds ago. This one's been kind of janky. I started being really finicky last night. Seven to three missions in this game. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll get good. I'll get as good as you. And then I'll be able to kill people <laughs> with no problem. <laughs> I need. I definitely need. A gaming laptop, though. That is one thing I'm going to save shit ton of money for. Let's do fresh meat. That's another of my favorite missions. Because <laughs> you get to rescue Michael's ass. And it's fun. Plus, it has one of the funniest scenes in it. <laughs> That was ad-libbed, as everyone knows. Like, everyone knows it was ad-libbed by now. We are women! We are free! We're breathing into the patriarchy! We are women! Hear our right! We are women! Hear our shout! We are women! We have no doubt! We are women! We are free! We are Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up! Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> What's up, homie, huh? <laughs> it's the only time Franklin ever laughs like really genuinely too in the whole game, in my opinion. Instead of like chuckling sarcastically at Lamar. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you, oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker. Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, Yeah. Man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, Me too. Man, I found out dead. that he gets grinded funny, up. All right? Because I watched Beasties Us play. That, that guy I keep talking about, he's really good funny. I accept um, your apology. apology. But anyway. Okay. Um, all right, so. Let's hug it out. He uh, waited too long. He ran out of time. Tried to switch Franklin, and Michael got grinded up by the meat grinder. It's really horrific too. I'm like, even though you don't see anything, you just imagine what happened to him. It's like, Bleh. difficult childhood. Damn man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know. Look, I love you, right? But I would have. Look, 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 man. You okay, Trevor? You're having a freaking mental breakdown there. Michael. Michael. Fuck Michael, I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all too, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped. Yeah, and now it looks like they holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me. I had a difficult right? childhood. Yeah, no are, shit, Trevor. when I see him, he's going to be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> Dude, you didn't say anything. What the hell? <laughs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor Fuck say? Fucking I love that part. Being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. 
The irony is a God, lost. I just sounded like Perhaps Michael there. For your phone. Michael Sell just came back online. I would say fucking A a lot more since I started playing this game if I get excited. Sure. Michael is rubbed off of me. God damn it. I told you. He ain't my G laugh. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, Ooh. you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call every favor I could in the They really kicked Michael's the ass up there. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Look how many freaking bruises and cuts he has all over him. Holy hey, hey, shit. Hey. Let me down! Let me fucking down! Poor Michael. Oh my god. He said they really roughed him up. Holy fuck. I mean, notice he has a black eye, he has cuts all over his arms, it's like, Jesus, what the hell do they do to him? Move, I'm trying to find somebody. Am I going farther away or closer to him? I think I'm going closer to him. Yeah, I'm definitely going closer to him. Yeah, it's the only one he appears in. His son appears more. And after he dies, he appears even... even less, obviously, because he died. This prank killed his ass. Sucks that your modifications to your car don't last when you're in, like, story mode. Redoing story mode. <laughs> Hi, my kitty. Tell him I said hi. Charlie says hi too. My sister's dog. I'm getting close, aren't I? Please tell me I'm getting close. Oh yeah, I'm getting close. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hear him. There they are. What's hide? Haha, <laughs> fuck you. That just said meow, I'll interpret that however you like. Well, I'm gonna imagine he said hi to me. Hi, Link. How you doing? Good cat. Pretty kitty. Oh. I love my boss's cat. He's such a nice kitty. You got a whole white dude that don't belong to you. <laughs> oh, white dude that doesn't belong to you. Wait, do you own Michael now, Franklin? I'm I'm confused. Michael, you in here, man? Hide. Douche. Hey, what it got you, man? Good guy, what's that? Hey, Michael. Oh shit. You got the wrong guy here. Where you at, bro? Come out! 
There we go. In case you ain't figured out, I ain't paying no risk. <laughs> I think they don't. Wait. <laughs> that guy got put into a grinder. Yeah, I bet you didn't know you could put them in a. I'm going to the grinders. Just kidding, I bet you did. Come on. Come on. Come and die. I know you want to come and die. Hi, Michael Lincoln. Oh shit, they shot me right in the face. <laughs> and I was doing so good. Right in the face. Damn, I have to do this again. It's so fun killing them and putting them in the meat grinders. Hey, it's what they were gonna do to Michael, they might as well feel it. Oh, there's still a guy behind there. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't have any ammo for it. Damn it, I wanted to make them go boom. Oh well. I wanted to make them go boom. Oh crap. You got an all white dude that don't belong to you. Again, Fred, like, do you own Michael now? That'd be pretty funny. Surprise, motherfucker. Hey, what it got you, man? Hey, Michael! Come on! Hide! We're gonna get down. Jesus. Where you at, bro? Hey, hey! It's Franklin! What it got you? Nipis, oh yeah! Trevor don't give a shit about this motherfucker! True enough. Oh. You got the wrong guy here! In case you ain't figured out, I ain't seeing no risk! Oh fuck, I missed that guy. Just stay here and recover some help.
I think so. I don't really remember, but you might be able to. Crash, crash. Yeah, get in that mean grinder, you piece of shit. Back out of my way, Stephen. You want me to waste the boyfriend? Uh, oh, fuck it, fuck it. Yeah! <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, Frank, well, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna take around the corner. Can you get yourself down? Clear the corridor, then we'll get out of here. Uh, I was just beginning to feel it all. <laughs> sure, Michael. You know who, man? Crap. I can't shoot through the meat. Or maybe I can. It's fun shooting me. Oh, ow. Oh, fuck. Hold on time. Air! Let's go! Ooh, ow. That had to hurt his spine and his head. Ouch. Way. Yeah, I said you know they're Franklin because, uh... Hey, yo, beef with Trevor Phillips! Oh, no, that's Michael. Sorry! Sorry, Michael! You're too far away. I couldn't tell it was you for a minute. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a moron. Die, motherfucker. Die, motherfucker. Oh, I put him in a meat grinder, too. I agree. You dumb motherfuckers. Let's go. We gotta protect Michael. We just looking to get out of here, man. Michael, where'd you go? Hide. Okay. Michael can handle it. And I'll help. Come on, Mike, let's go. Calm it down. Well, we're kind of trying to, kind of trying to escape from people, Michael. I kind of can't tone it down. Dumb, dumb. Oh Jesus! Agreed.
Oh no, they shot out my tire. Fuck you, asshole. I don't know. I'm not gonna fucking pull over. Ah, uh, dodge. Here we go. Ah! We are limping. Fuck! <laughs> we are limping so bad right now. Even Franklin's ability is not helping. But we'll keep trying. How you like me with a gun in my hand? Oh, I bet they like you a lot. Ouch. Hey, let's see if they can keep up. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Jesus! That was actually really fun, not gonna lie. <laughs> God damn it. Go away. Mm. Look at that trunk coming up. Yeah! <gasps> Just like the old GTA. I love it. I am doing this with a busted tire. This is fucking ridiculous. I love it though. Give me another minute, dog. I'll shake you, you know. God damn. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, we'll try to find a car somewhere. Either or we'll get out and kill him, either one. Woohoo! This is actually a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Go fuck with Trevor Phillips! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just kill him. Michael, let's steal a car. Damn it! Ah, gotta steal that one. Give me that damn car. Oh my god. Putting it in an investment fund. What? Really? Yeah, really. What are we gonna fucking do? Hey, look. An investment fund probably ain't the worst idea. I got this other thing with Weston down at the film studio. We wait to see how that plays out. And then we talk to him about your pain. Man, it sounds like I'm getting fucking screwed. We'll deal with it, Franklin. Jesus. I still feel like I'm hanging upside down from my ankles. 
Let me just adjust for a while. I'll come up with a plan. Yeah, whatever, man. Poor Franklin. He don't get nothing. Damn. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the fade, Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. Ooh, up close you can see how bad they roughed him up. Look, Ooh. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw it out. A future for me, for my family. Yeah. Took you took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. Look, hey, check my, he cool, never took Michael's advice and never have kids. <laughs> you got ties of your own. Yep. Look, you wake up one day and, and your legs, they just can't. Now he does. You just can't run anymore. Got wife and kids now. All right, man, look, you watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Yeah, it's like, Franklin's pretty safe. It's you that has to worry, Michael. But yeah, I've got this, like, story going on in my brain. Like, now that I know that Franklin has kids, apparently he has two as well. Um, also, I would want him to have, if he had a, I wanted to have a girl and a boy. Don't know if they're twins or not. 90%! Woo! We got gold! Woo woo! Okay. Anyway. But anyway, like, now that we know that Franklin has, um, two kids, I said I want one of them to be a boy and one of them to be a girl, and then, in my brain, in my story, it's kind of like, um, Michael and Amanda, like, have, um, another kid, like, one more, and they have, like, a boy and stuff. Someone just mentioned Rocco, but anyway. Yeah, like, um... I know, I hate how he got back together with Tanisha. I'm like, what the fuck? She treats him like shit. During the whole game, and no matter what he tries to do, she still hates him. She still, like, well, doesn't hate him, hate him, but doesn't like him like that anymore still. And it's like, dude... <sighs> Some people treat... Uh, ship him and Tracy together. I don't really get it. Because they never meet in game, for one. But, I don't know. Maybe they would have gotten together if they would have spent more time together. You know, if they would have gotten to know each other like him and Jimmy do. But, they never do. That's the main thing. I don't know. I would have wanted Franklin to be with, like, a just a mm, different character in general. Like, a new character. Like that girl he worked with in the contract, I thought that was going to be his new girlfriend or his wife or something. But no, that was his assistant, Amani. And I'm like, damn it. So. Yeah, I know. I ship a lot of things. A lot of franchises, I ship a lot of characters. But mostly it's because they're already canon. But I usually just ship already canon people. Like canon ships already. Like Michael and Amanda. They're already married and they love each other. So I I like that. So they're already a couple. So it makes sense to expand on that a little bit. Um, 
But yeah, like, in my my story, uh, I'm gonna eventually write it. I have an idea in my brain. Like, like I said, Franklin has kids. One of them's a boy. One of them's a girl. And the boy's named Jamie. Sort of a new meal. I don't know. Would that be a good name, Jamil Clinton? Surely that sounds really, really good. And then Michael and Amanda's third kid is named MD. Because come on, MJ is just a little too on the nose, you know. Plus, there's so many MJs in the world. So, so um. So yeah, they have another kid. They name him after Michael, obviously, because he looks so much like him. It's kind of creepy. And oh, radio nighting the family. I did this one last night, but I want to do it again because <laughs> I love it so much. I could do it like five times in a row if I could. But yeah, they have like a third kid. His name's MD, obviously named after Michael, Michael Jr. You know, and like. I know this is kind of like, oh, you're just doing this at, like, diversity, but no, I like it, because it's cool. I think it'd be cool, like, to make them a gay couple, and, like, have them, like, become a couple and stuff. It'll just explore, like, how, like, Michael and Franklin feel about it. You know? Because it'd be, like, it'd be really cool. Like, Jamie's, like, a few years older than MD. Oh. In my brain, so I'm like, hey, hmm. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I and they have like trouble like expressing their feelings for each other and, then, and stuff. You know, shit just falls on top I don't know, does that sound interesting? Right now, I don't Should I write that? I wanna say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just And yes, well, there will be sex gay, because it's GTA. Gay, so that's not cool anymore, and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So lame, alright? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't... That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? I know, but what, what do you I think? Mean, do you think it's creative, at least? buy me a car kind of way in a completely off-topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly... Dude, you didn't I help yourself job, either, dude, by the way. smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple of weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching oh. up with you. Oh. Yeah. Please don't die. Hey. How's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. But what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding yeah, that makes up, sense. you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. I get you're saying. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. Sure. We get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. What kind of star are we I'll talking about, Jimmy? Cool. Let's go find her. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. Didn't mean to run you over. Hurry up. So. What the fuck? What's been happening? That gate you opens know, way too slowly. I don't know stupid stuff. No. Stupid light pole. I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been stuff. It's, it's anyone's guess. Stuff's been yeah. happening, Jimmy. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city. Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd. You know. Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Oh, okay. Here they are. Fabian too. Oh, what a treat. Probably for another hour. I'm gonna do like one more, probably a couple more missions. A little bit less 
lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy? Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screenplay. Shush, here. woman. I'm trying to write a screenplay here. Shut up, bitch. Michael. Hi, mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two. Picture of holistic well being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh, that's my son. Cush. Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey, hey, buddy. I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't gonna it's go okay. There. I'm gonna ask you one time nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, well, what is uh, uh, Ew! Get it with the laptop. Really work there, you dick. Dare you disrespect There's people? Shit. <laughs> is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone shut up! <laughs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. <laughs> All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Well, I did better than last time. I got run over. Trying to leave this place. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, yes, I said not. yoga. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. What do you want? It's Tracy. Yoga, that yoga, wants yoga. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Now well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's first eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of... Are you no. crazy? Can today be the day you take off from me, <laughs> you psycho? Did you see that as we see? First step <laughs> You're just glitching the, the fuck out. Of, okay, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Hey! Are you fucking kidding? Fuck you. I'm doing this. No. <laughs> Damn it. I hate you, cops. That motherfucker had just had to start a fight, didn't he? You douche. Ugh. Sorry, Jimmy. We gotta run for the cops. God damn it. No, I haven't. Go away. Go away! I'm trying to do a mission, you piece of shit! Okay, this is a funny turn of events, if I do say so myself. Sorry, Jimmy. I didn't mean for this to happen. That guy started a fight. I shouldn't have fought back. I should have just ran from him. I don't know! This guy just started tried to start a with me. It's not my fault. Well, technically it is because I I didn't help my 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 case by punching him back. 
But the cop just had to come by, didn't it? The way it rolls most of the time. Fuck the car, come on! Driving backwards! <laughs> Bye! All we had to do is drive to left. CJ. <laughs> All we had to do was drive to the tattoo shop, Michael. Why did you try to start a fight with a motherfucker? Are you fucking kidding? And now I have no wheel. Motherfucker! Motherfucking cops. No! I thought I got away. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me, people. Back up, back up, back up. Let's get in the shadows here. We're gonna hide. There, Jimmy, you had a lesson running from the cops. <sighs> oh my god! No! <laughs> Move! Get the fuck out, bro. I'm trying to run for the cop, Jimmy. Shut the fuck up. Shh. Yeah. God damn it. Jimmy, we should find another car. Uh, get out of the way! Hey, well, sorry! It's the cop's fault, not mine! <laughs> so horrible! What the fuck?! <laughs> All I was trying to do! <laughs> I know. <laughs> All I was trying to do was get to the tattoo parlor and see my daughter. That's all I was trying to do. Leave me alone. Ah, motherfucker, I'm stuck now. Yeah, I just died. Mission failed. Michael died. Yes, I realized that game? Jeez. Okay, let's do that again without dying. <laughs> or getting in a fight with anybody. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> okay. <gasps> let's do it. Let's go to the tattoo parlor without killing, getting killed by the cops. Where is it? Where's what? The tattoo parlor? No, the tattoo. The one Tracy's getting. She's not getting a tattoo. Well, what the hell? She's with Laszlo. From Fame or Shame, she's trying to persuade him to give her another shot. At humiliating herself? Look, I'm her harshest critic. She's a terrible dancer, she can't sing, or even really speak properly in a camera, or like form her thoughts into sentences. But, there's a certain like, childish honesty about the way she expresses herself, that an audience might really respond to. Or, at least respond to for long enough for her to get on the Zealous Celebrity Circuit, which is at least a step up from her other career prospects. All right, then. I think we should do what we can to help her get that gig. That's a different conversation. I have never heard that conversation. Because I've never failed the mission, obviously. So they must have different conversations if you fail it. That's pretty cool. Huh. That was a treat, see? <laughs> You're a harshest critic, yeah. Our siblings are our harshest critic if you have them. You don't have siblings. Eh, you wouldn't know, I guess. I'm not dissing people who don't have siblings, by the way. 
You can only child has his advantages too. You don't have to deal with his sisters um, bullying you all the time. I'm looking for something hip that you knows I'm capable of violence, but really? I'm in the sack. So listen. Yeah, I just skip this. Ah, oh, you fucking prick! Jesus! Ah, you made me a pouty fucking <laughs> hipster! Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah! Ow! Oh. You made me a pouty fucking that's, hipster! That's, that's, that's a sweet needle, right? I don't need more hep C! What? Ah, oh, you butcher! Please don't tattoo a cock! Oh, I thought you I thought you said cock. I'll I'll do that then. You really don't want me to slip. Come on, Michael. There we go. Daddy! Should I draw his three pubic hairs? <laughs> there we go. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Ew. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without... Yeah, you douchebag. Anyway. You could use a tattoo gun. It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. Oh. Not quite. TMI, Michael. Ew. I hope you didn't do that. Unless you're into that Not sort of thing, Michael. What are you hiding? I hate, hate that, that dude. dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking. See him, I didn't see him. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Uh. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're mm -hmm. getting along, but not get off. off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Mm -hmm. Fucking therapy. Let's do, do this. this shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Crazy, what are you doing? Well, maybe fucking raid the medicine cabinet, because I, I will do it. It confuses me too, but it also makes me laugh my ass off. Because of what they say to each other. Yeah, but then afterwards it does kind of confuse me. Because Michael kind of threatens Amanda's life. And then afterwards it's just like, you want to come home with me? It's like, what? Michael, kid, let's go inside. Okay. I'm just like, huh? Okay then. Amanda. Hello. Yeah, no Good fighting. And then they usually fight. <laughs> I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Stick. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a horror. Yes. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment 
working on themselves inside and out. I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, <laughs> gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? <laughs> Michael, could you please stop endangering <sighs> me and the both of your children? You kill people. You're just like, go on, go on. The sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not worth it. Do you know Tracy and Jimmy moving? I on the way to the fucking bank. Keep moving down the couch even farther. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of the side quests, so no, I didn't kill him yet. But I will. We were taught to do this. Is that when I do treasures and freaks, I will cover that one. How about you suck my cock? We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal! You're fucking ain't right on deranged! How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid do it. shit. Do it. I'll it kind of does. Around with the rest of them. And that's really all the Yeah, cuz um Oh. You kind of Great. Her if she turns him into the plates like what? We made some real progress there. Oh, uh, my god. help. What? I hope this goes without saying, but Okay, cuz that's how it works. More expensive. What? Double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. Face off later. Come home with me or what? God, they can't. Guess we'll give it a try. It is? Ugh. All Why right. is it being stupid? Hmm. Kids! Maybe it's because it's angled, or maybe so, I'm stepping on the mic part. <laughs> Where the mic part actually is. That's my volume's too high. Okay, I'll turn it down a little bit. Alright. You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Jimmy. Anyway. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more. But yeah, same. Michael kind of has now a point. The He's just like, demands? yeah, I thought we weren't going to scream at each other. We just ended up doing that. What the hell? Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. Yeah. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not exactly. Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach. Yeah, this family's like complicated. Too Mark complicated for their therapist to figure out. That's for sure. Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB, that monster Trevor? There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? Exactly. What? No. Jeez. No. That'd be Just even worse. Thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will like, do whatever it takes. Yeah, to Jesus, sure Amanda. I think Michael only slept with one person. You slept with like five hunger. people to compensate. Women. Yeah, Dad. What the fuck? Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. <laughs> if Fabian treats them any better, you pieces of shit. But anyway. <laughs> David is basically telling Amanda to go buy him shit. It's like, screw you, you buy your own shit. You dumb motherfucker. Anyway. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? I mean, yeah, they're bull cheaters, and that's bad. You don't cheat on your partner. No matter what they do. Kids? Rooms. 
If you find dead bodies, cheap women, yes, or Trevor please. Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. But yeah, you can tell that like when they were like in North Hankin, Nathan, they were a lot happier with each other, and they actually really did love each other. And it's like they just want to get like you could tell that Amanda just wants that back, you know, in in some parts of the game. Because the ones before, like the conversations they have before, she's like lamenting, like why the how the hell they end up like this and. She wants the, them to go back to how they were, like, loving each other and stuff before they moved there. And it was like, yeah, I get where, where she's coming from on that one. Trevor being in the picture probably didn't help because you can't really believe anything that Trevor says about her. Okay, Walker, I'm going to end it here anyway, so. I'm saving. It's going to be a short stream tomorrow night, or tomorrow during the day, because I'm going to do my last, the last mission. That is my favorite mission. I'm going to just make it a special one all by itself. So look forward to that tomorrow. So I got presents to wrap anyway. And a drawing to finish. So I will see you tomorrow, either during the day or at night. Mm -hmm. Bye.